Hey guys, it's your girl Lashes Tony X. Oh, how are you guys doing today? So today's video, I wanted to do a um, Sephora recommendation video. I know that the Rouge sale has already started. I am a Rouge member, so obviously I was the first one to jump on the bandwagon of that sale. Um, I plan on picking up a few things each weekend before the sale's over. So I will have a huge haul when the sale is over and I'll show you all my goodies, okay? But I know probably most of you guys don't buy as much makeup as I do because I'm like insane. Who is that? Um, I think that might be my son here. I think it is. Yeah, it's my son. Okay, it's like, who's that guy out there? Um, anyway, so I might even do a two-parter because I have so many recommendations and I really want to get in depth with you guys about the things that I recommend. I have a lot of skincare, a lot of foundations that I want to talk about what, which foundation is good for what skin type, what I would recommend for you guys, what foundation brushes, concealers, and then I've got like a ton of like, I like to splurge during these sales. So I've got a ton of like high-end recommendations um, and just some random things. So I'm going to try to do this in a two-part video probably because it's going to be really long but let's just jump in and talk about foundations basically uh one of my favorite categories you guys know every time there's a foundation launched i have to buy it and someone asked me in the comments i think it was julie she said hey are you getting your are you going to be picking up the urban decay um the hydration the hydration one the hydration one and i'm like uh already bought it <laughs> If you want to know what foundation that I am wearing that I've been loving, it got a, kind of gives you like this glow within. And I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I've been dealing a little bit more with drier skin lately, which is weird. So I think it might be just getting older. I'm not really sure, but I've always had super, super, you know, oily combo skin. And lately it's been pretty, getting pretty dry. So. I have been loving this foundation that I'm wearing today and it is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation and Skin Care and it looks like this has the pump on it and so this is the foundation that I'm wearing today and like I said I feel like I don't think I've felt this pretty in a long time and usually foundations can either make me feel like I look like crap or make me feel very pretty and this one makes me feel very pretty so if you're looking for that kind of not I don't want to say glowy but it's kind of like a glow within type of um, foundation I just really really like it and then also the color is like the perfect match for me being self tanned I am going to show you the um, colors and I'm also going to show you how they um like the cons consistency of them so here's this one you can see that it is very thin like kind of like a skincare um but it does give you really good coverage but do you see that glow it's just so pretty so this is the one i'm wearing today i love the color of it it's perfect for me right now with a self tan on and so i'm really happy with this um I was on the fence about it because I heard people say it was kind of glowy and like summertime, you know, we get sweaty, whatever, but I really do like this. Now, is this going to be a foundation that I wear full on dead summer, you know, 110 degrees outside and, you know, maybe going to a theme park or doing something with a family? Is that? No. This is not going to be that foundation. This is going to be date night foundation. This is going to be, maybe I've got photos foundation with the family. I like to do those. We all get together, take photos. Mother's Day's coming up. 
gorgeous Mother's Day foundation. This would look so pretty on so many of you guys. So this one I highly recommend, like I said, for special occasions, especially in the summertime. So that's something I would wear all day long and then just expect it to stay on. You're probably going to get it a little glowy if you're not, if you don't have dry skin. But I do recommend this for, if you do have dry skin, I highly recommend it. I think you will fall in love with it and you don't even need to set it if you have dry skin. I would set obviously up under my eyes when you apply your concealer, but as far as anything else, I think it would look really pretty on older women as well. So maybe this might be something you want to pick up for your mom for Mother's Day, but I highly recommend this. It looks just radiant on the skin. Let me know in the comments if you notice a difference with this foundation. So I did want to recommend this for my um, dry skin girls. And just if you just want to look radiant, maybe that date night, special occasion type thing. I think this is gorgeous for pictures. So I highly recommend that one. I do want to talk about that. But yeah, that is the cons consistency and it's super thin but as you can see with this hand i like to show with my hands because my hands are very veiny so this hand you can see all the blue veins this hand they're completely covered so it is a great con um not concealer foundation so i will link it down below for you guys if you want to get it you know on sale which is the best time to get it so all right so let's go on to another foundation i think is going to be really really good for you dry skin girls um i know it's hard for you guys to find foundations that you really like but one reason why i'm going to recommend this one is because my friend here on youtube tiffany dawn raves about this one and you guys know if you watch her channel she has a very dry skin so she absolutely loves this one and this one is the fenty beauty um pro filter so it just has a kind of like the cosmetics with a squeezy tube um this one the it cosmetics your skin Wrote better is a glass with a pump so this one is squeeze tape. I'm going to show you the consistency of this one as well. So again, has that really thin texture, but it covers, as you can see. This is kind of a weird shade, but it's a little more yellow than I would normally wear. But it does cover all everything I need to cover like all the veins and everything is covered and it is a very thin formula but like I said it does cover and it does hydrate so I know Tiffany Dawn loves this one I will link it down for you guys if you want to pick it up during the sale but these are two that I recommend for dry skin girls or if you just with this one if you just want some radiance because like I said I have I feel like I have more combo but i do get like very dry sometimes like just around my chin around my forehead so and this works really great for me as well so i'm gonna say if you're dry skin check these two out they're great all right so let me wipe my hands off and let's go to my oily girls, my oily skin girls. Okay, so I did get a question from one of you guys. I'm trying to remember who it was. Uh, Michelle, I think it was Michelle. So she asked me like, what do I recommend um, as far as, you know, a really good foundation for oily skin, for acne prone skin, um, that is not like the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Not thick or anything like that. That's more thin, but gives you coverage, and that's going to last all day long. So, my top pick for you older girl skins that are looking for something that's going to last you, you put it on, and you want it to last the entire day, um, this is my recommendation for you guys. It is the Too Faced Born This Way. 24 hour foundation and this is the matte one but let me tell you guys it is not matte to where it looks 
drying or it looks like you can see your pores it, it's it's a very beautiful mat okay it's more of a semi mat it's not heavy like I would say if you want if you have really oily skin um, and you have a lot to cover or you want a foundation that's gonna last a long time as well but you want something more like the Estee Lauder Double Wear I recommend the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless foundation this one is very thick this one is a lot more thinner and I'm going to show you the texture on the back of my hand so you can see um, but I would say for someone like Michelle that asked me you know what foundation would you recommend for the cell I would go for the Too Faced Born This Way matte and it is like supposed to be a 24 hour wear and I do like that it has a pump. I'll show you what it looks like on the back of my hand. Um, but this I recommend 100% for combo, oily girls, people that really need something to last during the hot summertime. Now this one, like I said, is the Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to show you the comparison on the back of my hand of the textures, okay? So... This one is the Charlotte Tilbury. And this one is the um, Too Faced. And I'm going to rub this one on the back of my hand. This is very thick. As you can see, it would take me forever. You only need a little bit, a little bit of this on your skin because... I mean, I don't know how long it was going to take me to blend this out, but it does end up being a matte finish with this one. It does end up being very matte, so don't be fooled by the way it looks right now. It will dry matte, um, and it you can see, like, you can cover up pretty much anything with this foundation. I would say that it is definitely a dupe for, I say dupe when they're... This one's probably more expensive. Um, definitely a dupe of the Estee Lauder Double Wear. You can see. You cannot see any of my natural skin. It is totally covered everything. So, if you're looking for a more extreme full coverage um, foundation, but you don't want like the old school Estee Lauder Double Wear, you want something new and fresh, and you want to get it from the sale and you want to save some money you know charlotte tilbury is an amazing brand um this is the airbrush flawless and i'm in the color three this if you want extreme full coverage and you like the estee lauder double wear but you're looking for something different then i recommend the charlotte tilbury um airbrush flawless finish this is a frosted glass with a um, pump applicator and then I want to show you definitely for Michelle if you're watching and for anybody else who is asking me about which foundation should I pick up from the cell so if you have acne prone skin if you have oily skin I highly recommend the Too Faced Born This Way matte 24 hour foundation um, it's really nice it has a pump but this one is very light it's a little bit more lightweight it's not it doesn't feel heavy on the skin and it does last you a long time on the skin i've got something on my thing all right so i'm going to show you the cons consistency of this one so this one is a lot as you can see that it just kind of blended in real quick it it's not it's very much more thin and it just feels like skin but it gives you really good coverage and it's going to keep your makeup lasting all day it's not going to break you out it's not going to irritate your skin or anything like that and i just really i mean you can see how thick this is like i couldn't even blend that out and then you can see this one um the Too Faced matte and that blended out like a dream so oily girls if you're looking for something for the summertime and you want to get a good deal on it check out this during the sephora sell highly recommend this one 
Okay, let me try to wipe my hands off. So, I definitely have some other ones I want to mention. Normal skin, dry skin, normal skin, oily skin, combo skin. Um, this is for you. It's just for anyone. It has been one of my favorite foundations for a probably about two years now. It's been one of my favorite foundations. So, I did want to mention it since you can get a good deal on it right now. And that is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. Has a pump. It's super durable. Durable? Durable? Yeah. <laughs> durable? That's what I'm trying to say. It's super durable. It has like this plastic container instead of glass. This is super travel friendly. I traveled a lot with this one because I knew it wouldn't break in my suitcase. Um, so I really like this one a lot. As you can see, I had it in my project pan last year. And I have like really went to town with this one. Because I love how light this is. It's very light, but it covers. And I just feel like everybody I've ever talked to, no matter if they have dry skin. I know Tiffany Dawn likes this one as well. Like anybody, um, they just like it. It is a very, like, like I said, a thin formula very thin formula but it gives you good coverage and it just blends in like a dream so this one i feel like anybody can wear and i wanted to recommend this one for sure for you guys okay so i gotta wash my hands off again now for the mac daddy foundations okay so this one i don't recommend you guys very often because it is a very expensive splurge and I did get it for it was my birthday or something I remember getting it um, it was just one of those things you know where you treat yourself but it was very expensive and it's not something that I would just go off and buy like every time I run out of foundation which I will never run out of foundation but like for the average consumer this is gonna be a super splurge but i did want to mention it because you know this is sephora the sephora sale we've been waiting on this maybe you've saved your money up maybe it's something you want for mother's day um get your kids to get it for you this is the pat mcgrath um skin what is it called exactly let me see the pat mcgrath skin fetish foundation so this right here pretty sure it's 75 dollars for this foundation it is one of my favorites i really do love it let me let you hear how liquidy this foundation is very watery very very watery so if you like a very thin foundation and you want to splurge but you want to get your discount i highly recommend the pat mcgrath one this one is so good guys it's so good um try to see what color i'm in i'm in light seven but this one is my winter shade i'm gonna put it on the back of my hand just so you can see how liquidy it is it's just dripping down my hand um super thin as you can see and i'm just gonna show you what it looks like super thin literally i could just rub it through my hands it feels really nice on the skin it doesn't feel heavy doesn't get cakey it doesn't have like a weird smell or anything it just it's a really nice foundation so i wanted to let you guys know that i love it i don't talk about it a lot like i said because I know a lot of you guys aren't going to run and buy a $75 foundation and it's stupid for me to recommend it. So, but if you can get a good deal on it, a discount, or if you can get it for, ask for it for Mother's Day or something like that, um, I did want to mention this one is really nice. Like I said, it is a serum foundation, very, very thin, but it will cover, it will cover and it doesn't have any weird smells or anything very liquidy i love it love the packaging it's, you know very luxe obviously pat mcgrath hello um but wanted to recommend this to you guys if you haven't got to try it yet now is the time all right so i am wiping all this off my hand and i do want to mention 
some foundation brushes and some concealers. So for foundation brushes, one of my favorite ones of all time is this one right here. And like I said, I will try to link as many products as possible. But this one is the It Cosmetics Skin Smoothing Complexion Brush. And it says Heavenly Skin on the side of it. So it is silver with this little white um, detail on it. I use this one today. I really, this is one of my favorite foundation brushes. Um, I actually just ordered another one from Sephora from the cell. So that's how much I like it. So if you want to pick this one up, I will link it for you guys. This one is really great for any type of foundation. But if you're looking for a foundation brush for serum -y foundations, I really do like this one from, um, rare beauty it just i don't know it's just really nice and it feels really good with a serum foundation so i do like this one a lot for serum foundations so this one i just kind of like a day-to-day -day foundation brush and this one i like with a more liquidy uh very liquidy foundation i like this one so i will link these i did want to mention that i have some other it cosmetic foundation brushes and they've always been my top favorite foundation brushes is it cosmetics so i will link a few down below for you guys i will link the foundations down below for you guys that i recommended and now let's go ahead and go to some concealers that i want to recommend so um so for this one i feel like is just all over the board for everybody so I'm gonna recommend this one for everybody this is the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer so it looks like this this is nothing new but I just feel like this does such an amazing job no matter what skin type you have I feel like so many people love this one so I will swatch it on the back of my hand for you guys I'm in the color vanilla and I will try to link all the when I, when I do all these links for you guys, I will put in the shades of the foundations and stuff like that for you guys. But this right here is the Pouring This Way foundation. I mean, sorry, concealer. And it's just, I don't know. I feel like it's great for any skin type. So I did want to recommend that one. Oldie but goodie. Now I have two newer ones I want to talk about. And one I feel like... If you like the Tarte Shape Tape, but maybe it's a little too drying for you, but you love that full, full coverage look. Okay, guys. So, like I was saying, I talked about the Born This Way. That's a classic. I feel like anybody can use that concealer. If you're looking for a... If you're looking for a, like, really good full coverage concealer, I like the Hourglass Bell concealer um i purchased this last year i really like it um and this is what it looks like so if you like the tarte shape tape but that's too drying for you i feel like this one is kind of in the middle it is full coverage it's kind of thick covers everything that you need to cover but it gives you a little bit of hydration so if you're looking for a full coverage concealer check out the hourglass veil all right last but not least as far as concealer this is like my absolute number one fave at the moment and this is the pat mcgrath um concealer this one i'm obsessed with this guys it is so good it covers every little blue vein like everything i want to cover it totally covers i don't know if you can see that but I absolutely love this it looks it's not too heavy it doesn't look cakey but it just looks so pretty under the eye I'll swatch it for you guys and you can see it just this is the Pat McGrath one it is just so creamy and it doesn't like settle into my fine lines or anything it like I said it covers everything it needs to cover um, I love it and like I said when I link these I'll link my shades and stuff if you're curious um, 
And then I did want to mention like, because I am going to do, like I said, probably a two-parter, maybe a three-parter. Because, I mean, the sale is going to be for three weeks. So, I might do this in two, three parts. I don't know. I have a lot of makeup to talk about. So, I didn't want this video to be too, too long. Plus, everybody's getting off of work. And I'm not going to have a lot of time to share with you guys. But I did want to mention a lot of the foundations and stuff like that. I have a ton of skincare we're going to talk about in the next uh video i'll try to post that one as soon as possible maybe i'll post it what is tomorrow i'm not sure which one <laughs> my days kind of run together these days you guys i don't know all right so i'm gonna recommend a powder for you guys um just if you want something to make your if you have pores and you want them to look smooth i love the it, it cosmetics bye bye pores it's always been a top favorite powder for me um i just love it and it's not that expensive to where like oh my god i gotta buy another one but i even got my daughter-in-law hooked on this one so um and she has dry skin but i she just used a little bit you know like in her t-zone but this right here for me is amazing like i love to just kind of blur the pores with this and i prefer the the loose powder more than the pressed powder but the pressed powder is really nice to keep in your purse um when especially during the summertime i might have to pick that one up now that i'm thinking about it um the summertime and you just need to you know tone down the skin or whatever for the oils in your t-zone this one is my absolute favorite powder but i have heard so so many things about the new Tatcha powder that I'm picking that one up as well and I will have a I will talk to you guys I will do get ready with me I'll do a review on it let you guys know if it's worth the $50 price tag that is everything I wanted to talk about in this video but like I said if you want to see my hair care favorites my skincare favorites and mascara favorites blush favorites lip product favorites everything i'm wearing on my face even eyeshadow palettes then that will be hopefully i can get all that in another video cram it all in another video if you like this video please make sure to give me a thumbs up let me know in the comments which of these foundations kind of interest your your uh, curiosity what are you going to pick up from the cell i would love to know is there anything i should pick up from the cell that i haven't talked about yet um yeah, and if you guys are new to my channel, hello, my name is Michelle. We would love to have you part of our Lashes Sunnyx family. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button, which I'll have linked down below. Hit the notification bell and you'll get notified for every time I post. Um, so yeah, I hope everybody has a great day. Please make sure to give me a thumbs up, a comment down below. Like I said, let me a comment about what you're picking up during the sale. If you're going to pass on the sale. Um, I plan on shopping three times. So, I will have a huge haul for you guys. Don't worry. So, have a good one. And I just want to say I love you guys pieces. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.